Hi, welcome back to Mr. Mobile PC Vlog. My name's Hugo Ortega. Now today I'm usually used to showing you a notebook or a tablet, which is in my hand, something small, then I flip it around, touch it. Now today I actually have an opportunity to showcase a desktop. Now um, you can see how large these things are. Um, this is part of Tegatech's um, Platinum range. So it's a, it's a new range of custom desktops that really showcase all the latest technology inside. But rather than go through exactly what this particular one is about, I just wanted to cover off three core ingredients to making a great desktop. Whether you use these ingredients yourself when you're making your own desktop, or whether you, you get someone like Tegatech to build it for you, you should still consider these three core ingredients. Um, there is a fourth, but it's really not important any longer. Now the fourth is the CPU, so I'll cover that off quickly. The CPU is the central processing unit, so it's the brain power. And it's where you, you get that term, things like uh, Core i7 or Core i5, Quad Core, Dual Core, Celeron. And that's the CPU terminology. Now with regards to brain capacity uh, in a computer, nowadays, if you remember that we sent a man to the moon with the capacity of a science science calculator the kids use today, um, you'd know that we've bypassed what we can do with these computers a long time ago um, with regards to having bigger and greater CPUs. Um, they're massive now, whether you get the most basic form or you get the latest 8-core uh, processor, uh, you, you've actually bypassed what you can do with them normally for normal day use. So you'll be happy with most CPUs, so I won't bother in teaching you should you get an i7, an i5 and so on. Um, if you can afford to get an i7, if you can't afford to get an i5, I wouldn't go to an i3 um, because Windows 8 in particular lacks a few benefits through the i3. But this one has an i7. But what I want to cover off today were really three core functionalities. Three, that something like a platinum desktop, and this is a big beast here, but a lovely uh, geeky beast uh, if, if you um, follow me. I love this stuff. Um, if you're after a platinum type custom desktop solution, look for three things in that, in that scenario. One is the hard drive. Now, uh, hard drives are located here in this particular chassis. So we're using the Antec P280. Uh, now the P280 is a, um, a, a case designed exclusively by a company called Antec, A-N-T-E-C. Um, it's a beautiful uh, device um, as far as the cases are concerned. Aluminium construction, uh, great ventilation, we'll cover that off in a second. Um, but uh, one of the benefits of the Antec case is the multiple hard drive bay. So in here, if I clip and slide out, we've got two hard drives. So let's cover that off first. I just grabbed, here's one I prepared for you earlier. So if you haven't seen a hard drive before from a desktop, this is what your hard drive looks like. Now what's inside these, if you were to unscrew it and pull it apart, you'd actually find platters in there, spinning plates. Now those platters have corresponding read-write heads. So if you can imagine the plates spin and there's read-write heads on top and bottom of each plate, and as they're spinning, the, the, the discs are being read by these read-write heads, top to bottom to top to bottom. Now when you do things like um, uh, disk cleanup, um, for want of a more geeky explanation, what you're actually doing is getting all the parcels or pockets, uh, or what they're actually known as packets of data, um, from those platters and reorganizing them into a, a more parallel manner so that the read-write heads can read faster. And it's always good to optimize your hard drive every couple of years, if not every couple of months, um, just so that those read-write heads are doing less work. Now, if you have a C drive, and that's all you've got in your desktop, what you've got is only one of these. Now, if you've got a D drive that's part of storing your data, you might not actually know until you physically open up with the computer whether you've got one of these or two of these. Why? Why? Because inside, what a lot of manufacturers tend to do, which are cutting costs for you, trying to keep the cost down, is partition the hard drive. And what that means is basically take a physical hard drive, which is what I have in my hand, and slice it in half virtually, so allocating two lots of spaces to that hard drive, so that you have a C drive and a D drive. Now if you think about those platters, if you're still following me, and I hope you are, if you think about those platters and those read-write heads, doing all that work to find data up and down the hard drives, hard drive, if you slice that hard drive inside, so create a C for your programs and a D inside the one physical hard drive, 
to read write the data, you're actually causing the read write heads to work harder and faster, putting pressure on the CPU. So, what does a platinum type desktop have? If you notice before, I pulled out not just one, but two physical hard drives, so two of these guys. Now, what that means now is that there's a physical C drive, and that's the top one here, for all your applications, operating system, and so on. And then there's a second physical hard drive for all your data. And the benefit to that is that the CPU now is reading and writing to the C drive when it's talking to the application. So saying, um, when you click on Word, for example, CPU's gone into the, the top drive and going, oh, I want to pick up Word, the application. I'm going to go into Office. I'm going to grab Word. I'm going to launch it. The, the second drive, which would be listed as a D in this option, is your data. So in the CPU now, instead of sending all the information to the read write heads to get the application and the information in the Word documents, it's gone, hey, I'm going to grab the Word document and hey, I'm going to now grab the, the data from the second physical hard drive. And so the, the, all the read write heads and the CPU are working um, individually. So if, if you like, as, it, it, as they do in an, in an ant uh, farm, um, everyone has their task. And the more people that have their task, the more soldiers, the more the work gets done effectively. So the number one ingredient for um, looking at a, a um, optimized desktop in a platinum style um, uh, arrangement for yourself is actually looking at two physical hard drives for your applications and for your data. And nowadays, the cost of hard drives is so low that everybody should do this. And so if you're requesting a new PC from someone like Take Tech or from anybody, make sure you get two physical hard drives. Now, the second component is just in here, is your graphics card. Now, this is quite a big beast if you know computers, but it's quite simple to understand what this does. As per the, the conversation of hard drives, it's a similar conversation with graphics cards. Now, if you look behind here, this big silver, sorry, not this one, take away this, I'll talk about this in a second, but the blue component at the back, that's actually the motherboard. And um, if you look a little bit closely here on the side, um, there's RAM there. So motherboard houses a CPU, RAM, and whatever else you need to, to uh, build up the components to make a premium type solution. Normally in a basic uh, solution, so in a good, better, best model, best being your platinum, good being your, um, your, uh, your base model, normally graphics cards or devices are included on the motherboard. So they sit on the motherboard itself and what that actually means is, technically, that the graphics card is actually grabbing um, uh, RAM and CPU from the motherboard and other crucial components to share the workload. So it's going, oh, I, I, I want to now grab a page uh, and shoot it up to, um, to the screen. And I want to power this screen to, to multitask, for example. If you have a graphics card incorporated on the actual motherboard, you're actually throwing back that information and that, that, that um, uh, workload to the CPU and the RAM. When you have a dedicated graphics card, so something like this, now again, this is a big B, so again, it's part of that platinum range. This CPU, uh, this, sorry, <laughs> it's actually called a GPU, graphics processing unit. So this graphics card has a GPU built inside, so it's got its own CPU, if you like. So the CPU is on the motherboard, so central processing unit to actually think and use the brain power for the motherboard. This one has its own CPU called the GPU, which actually does all the visual brain power stuff. So it thinks and processes all the visual stuff. So as per the hard drives, if you have a dedicated hard drive for each part of the equation you're trying to address, uh, one being the operating system, two being your data, it's the same for a graphics. If you share the graphics on the motherboard, you're having to actually um, steal uh, processing power from the CPU. If you have your own GPU um, graphics card, you're actually now dedicating that component of the thinking to its own device. And so it starts to enable the device to think faster, think quicker, power two monitors, three monitors. Um, you can actually pair these in a motherboard. So this motherboard particularly supports two graphics cards, within, which then can actually be linked together to have a, a double processing unit. Um, uh, so it, for gamers, for example, they love that sort of thing. You can power multiple monitors and run extensive 3D graphics on these types of devices. Um, so have a dedicated graphics card. 
Again, like the hard drives, they're so cheap nowadays that having a dedicated graphics card is real easy to request. Obviously, many levels of, of what quality graphic card goes in there, but you can now afford to have a dedicated graphics card in every desktop. Last component. See this big beast? That's actually the CPU fan. Now the last component, so we've covered off um, hard drive, we've covered off um, uh, graphics card, and third and last we're gonna cover off ventilation. So when you're talking about a, um, a powerful uh, platinum style desktop, ventilation is so important because every component gets hot inside. Once you add your, your 16, 32 gigabytes of RAM nowadays, once you add your dual graphics cards, once you add your massive Core i7 processor, you're generating heat. Um, now, the important factor for, for that scenario is to displace the heat, get rid of it. So a case like the Antec P280 actually has a couple of key features. Um, the inbuilt features of the case is you've got fans sitting on the front here and they're hidden behind the door um, and so I won't show you them but there's two fans sometimes three fans which sit at the front and propel fresh air from the front of the device through the motherboard and out the rear how do you get it out the rear now the problem is that when you buy a CPU and build a standard desktop Intel generally sends you this um, yucky little fan and nowadays in the latest process you don't get a fan at all if you're custom building a machine now the problem with that is that uh, a little fan is that normally uh, they have a tiny heat sink. Now the heat sink is a big metal aluminium, aluminium device that actually propels and attracts um, heat from the CPU and draws it out. Now heat rises, right? We all know that. Hot air rises. Now the dilemma is that if you want to take hot air out the rear of the device and you've got a heat sink and a small fan propelling air out and up, you're actually starting to circulate hot air through your desktop. What a, a fan like this, so this is an aftermarket fan uh, by a company called Arctic, A-R-C-T-I-C, but there's dozens of aftermarket fans, hundreds of them. Um, this fan, however, what it does is, is it actually marries nicely to the Antec P280 case. So, air is being drawn by fans that are inside the case through the motherboard. The heatsink, which is all this aluminium component, is actually now drawing air from the CPU up and out. The fan is actually rear facing, so I'm touching the inside of the fan by putting my arm inside here. You can't see, I won't move the camera because it just gets tedious, but there's a massive fan inside this black housing. That's not bringing air out towards me, it's actually shooting air towards the rear now of the case. Fans on the, on the case, drawing air through the motherboard. CPU heatsink, drawing air out from the CPU. Fan rear facing, drawing air to comply with the air that's coming this way, out towards the rear. And here what you have is another fan on the rear of the Antec case, grabbing all that hot air that's coming out through the, the fresh air coming through the motherboard in the case and throwing it out, blasting it through the rear. So ventilation is key to getting a platinum style motherboard and case working and being as optimal as possible. Uh, there are other key features, obviously pairing hard drives, pairing RAM, pairing the graphics cards. That's got to be done correctly too to get all these optimal levels happening. Uh, you've also got things like um, redundancy, backup built into um, these motherboards that you can optimize and use, but it's not generally used by uh, manufacturers looking to cut corners. So uh, you can actually have paired hard drives in there. So if one fails, there's recovery happening instantly on a second hard drive or a third or a fifth hard drive, depending how vital your data is. And so the read-write gets faster, recovery gets faster. You've also got built-in utilities here with little push buttons to reset things like BIOS, um, and so all of these are part of optimal um, um, platinum style custom desktop solutions. I, I love this stuff. I've been building computers myself for about 11 years now and I really do enjoy it. Um, if you have to ask me any questions, go for it. Um, otherwise, talk to your local PC builder and get something like this made for yourself. You'll never regret it. Um, the cost is so low now that it may only be a 20%, for example, premium on top of what you would pay on a, on a crappy desktop to get something like this done. And, and, it, and it would give you a, a five uh, years of, of life out of these devices and your money. So it's well worth exploring.
So this is again been Hugo Ortega from Mr. Mobile PC blog. Um, it's not a mobile device, uh, but it's a custom desktop, and I really, really was keen to just show you how these components work in case you're interested. Have a great day, guys.